everyone, my name is Anna Kay. I'm going to be the Senior Resident Assistant for Pomfret this fall. Um, and today we're going to go on a virtual tour of Pomfret. So today, before we start, I just want to show you a couple of key reference points for where Pomfret is in terms of the rest of campus. Um, so right this way we have the Hyper and the football stadium. Um, up the hill you have things like the Union and the Greek Theater. Um, right next to us on the other side of Pomfret is Adohi. And then kind of behind Pomfret in the parking lot area is Bud Walton Arena where we play basketball. So let's go inside. Oh yeah. Um, so behind the camera today we have Emily. Hello, I'm Emily. I'm a marketing intern. And then also joining me today we have the corner for Red coordinator for residence education for Pomfret. His name's Keanu. Um, he's super awesome, so he'll be joining me and helping me out today. Um, so right as you walk in, we have Pig Theory, um, which is one of our Chartwell's on-campus dining options. Um, normally they're open for dinner um, during the week and sometimes on weekends. Um, you can do things like meal trade there, um, but it'll be open once school starts in the fall. And it's a barbecue macaroni. Yes, cheese, it's so good. Which I've never heard of before. Ten, ten out of wrap. Yes. So it's, it's a burrito <laughs> barbecue. It's very good. Very ingenuitive barbecue. Love it. Ten out of ten. It's one of our late night dining options. Some of the day it's not open, but at night, our hours are like maybe 6 to 10, 11. If you're hungry, you can use your meal swipe, so come here and grab some barbecue macaroni or whatever you enjoy. All right, so now we're going to head down to the front desk. Um, so here, right inside these doors and a little bit down the stairs, next to Pig Theory is the front desk. Um, this is our front desk admin, Alicia. Um, she's super awesome. Um, if you ever need anything from the front desk, she'll be here. Um, there'll be an RA or someone at the desk. Um, but you'll come here to get all your packages and things like that. Um, also, right over here next to the desk, um, if you have anything that's not a package that you need to pick up, we have mailboxes. Um, so this will be like, um, you know, letters and things like that. Um, and then right over here behind the desk, we have sewing of Pomfret. Um, so it's three floors, there's no elevator, but just so you know, it's right behind the desk. So C and D wing people, there is no elevator. I apologize, I was not born when the building was made, but for move in, C and D, it is all stairs. So if you're living in C and D wing, you know, make sure your boxes are small and that you're able to be able to carry upstairs. Please pass the word to your student, your um, families, let everyone know, no elevators in C and D wing. That is a very good shot. <laughs> Space. There's lots of chairs, um, flexible seating, tables, things like that. Lots of people like to study in here, hang out in here. Um, and then kind of on this side right here um, is our print station for Pomfret. So you can go to print.uark.edu um, and you can upload documents there and then print them from this computer, which is super convenient if you have a class that you need to print something out for. Um, you don't have to track all the way up the hill to do that. Super convenient. Um, but yeah, this is kind of our study space. And I think you get a $35 print allowance every semester. Yeah, so, um, and I think each print is only like 10 cents or something like that, so it goes a very long way, um, but very, very helpful, very convenient, so. Can we show that little uh, path over there? Yeah. Between C and D. Um, so in between C and D being, um, we have this little like pathway area, um, there's a little picnic table set up, and then a couple of, um, string lights as well. So it's very it's very nice out here, good place to hang out and just kind of chill. But yeah. Um, if you follow me this way, I'm gonna head up to um, the Pomfret Food Hall, um, which is very lovingly known as the Pomfreteria. <laughs> and um, if you're uh, tuning in, let us know where you're from. Are you uh, someone here from Arkansas, from Texas, Oklahoma? Let us know where you're coming from. So up here is um, the Pomfret Food Hall. Um, it's closed for the summer, but during the school year, it'll be open. Um, you can kind of see inside there's tables, lots of food options. Um, it's newly remodeled, so it's very nice. Um, sometimes there's like 
um, individualized cooking stations. So like I know in the morning, sometimes you can get your own omelet made or at dinner, I think they do pizza sometimes. So you can get a personalized pan pizza, which is pretty cool. Don't they have ice cream too? Okay. I'm hoping it comes back. Comes that back. hand scooped ice cream was our signature uh -huh. up here. Um, in the day, it's very quiet. It's not as busy as some of the other halls. Adobe and Poplar students tend to use this dining hall at night because that's really the closest to it. Point out really quick, we do have another desk area, but this is like our IT um, kind of area, service. service center kind of set up. So this is not the front desk. Anytime you need to go um, to the front desk to meet an RA or get a package, that'll all be up there where we started. Um, There's the Pomper B in this direction. Yes, and Pompa B is in this direction. Um, it does have an elevator, which is kind of nice. Um, Pompa B is eight floors, which is super, super cool. So that's all that direction, um, right as you come down from the dining hall. Um, and then this is the Pompa Great Room. Um, it's kind of um, in Pompa. Um, there's lots of seating. There's a ping pong table, a pool table. Um, we'll have a kitchen and. Um, a theater room that we'll kind of take you to in a minute. Um, and then if you look out these beautiful windows, you get to see kind of outside. Um, this is probably one of my favorite parts of Pomfret. Um, of, you know, outside seating options. It's great to hang out. Um, maybe once it cools down a little um, in between summer and fall. Um, but you can take food out there and hang out and have a good time. Um, it's also kind of amphitheater style seating um, on the rocks, which is super cool as well. And that's all right next to um, Pig Theory, kind of. So it all kind of loops around like that. And will there be any formal like programming stuff out there? Or is it really just kind of bring your, bring your lunch and have a good time out there? Um, for lunch, do you see people out there a lot? We do have a lot of events. So the great room which we're in is going to be a primary um, RA or SRA will host events in here as well as out there. Also at these table, of course, study, bring your friends. Usually study groups are out here. Architect projects, you know, it's big enough to set up your model. Um, but they also turn into ping pong tables. We have net ping pongs at the front desk. Also, we're about to walk by like air hockey, pool, any of that kind of equipment. Um, it will be our, at our front desk if it's not already out here. We have a lot of cool things in here as well. If you want to head this way and show you off. Again, I'm the coordinator, so I oversee the RAs. This is going to be my fourth year in Pomfret. Um, so hopefully I'm helpful to y'all. My office is right here. Um, so again, if you're... Um, normally, you know, you reach out to your RA, but if you ever need to meet with me or you just have a quick question, you can always walk by here. And of course, if my office is open, step on in and say hello. All right, and then right over here, kind of off the great room, um, we have our kitchen area, um, which is super nice. Um, like I said, Pomfret is newly remodeled, um, so everything is pretty much brand new in the last couple of years. Here's um, a couple microwaves, a convection oven, Keurig, blender, um, all of those fun things. And then on this side of the kitchen, there's vending machines with drinks and snacks. Um, it's a little empty right here. Um, it was a little dark in here, but this is kind of our theater room space, so there's lots of seating options and tables. Um, it's also kind of just a hangout space. There's a giant TV on the wall, which is super cool, um, and you can bring game consoles down here and hook them up, or DVD players, um, things like that. Anything you kind of want, um, it's kind of... kind of hang out and enjoy themselves um, and have a good time. So are, you, are you a gamer? Um, I am not personally a gamer. Um, the extent of my gaming knowledge is playing um, Mario Kart on my brother's Switch with him. But that's what they bring down here. <laughs> Again, your own console people bring in here and you'll see like you can log into your Netflix account and you know if you're between classes just hang out here and watch TV. Yeah, yeah. so this is a super cool and dynamic space. Kind of use it um, at your own will for whatever you want. 
Um, but it is a community space, so we like to keep those clean, so just make sure you pick up after yourself when you're done. Um, and then right next to the theater room, um, we have our music room. Um, there's a piano in there. Um, you can feel free to bring your instrument if you're in band or anything like that and kind of come and practice. This is a great space to do that. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's soundproof. It's, it sound it's supposed to be soundproof. It, um, of course, you can hear it a little. Yeah, but relatively. But yeah, that's a super great um, resource. Um, so you don't have to go up the hill to the music building to find a practice room. If this is free, you're welcome to use it. So if you have a guitar, bring it. That's my one of my favorite things. You'll see people just hanging out in there playing guitar, playing piano. Like Keanu mentioned, those um, tables convert into ping pong tables with nets. Um, and then we also have an air hockey table, which is pretty cool. I don't think, it, does any other hall on campus have an air hockey table? I actually don't know. I don't I think they think do. I don't think they do. So Pomfret may be the <laughs> only um, hall with an air hockey table, which is super cool. Um, I think that makes Pomfret unique. Before we leave the grade room, do you mind doing, giving them a good like 360 of it? It's hard yeah. to impart how big this room is. Yeah, it's, it's huge. huge. Probably the largest gathering space in a residential hall. Pomfret can house the most residents with uh, around 807 fit comfortably in here. So we are a large hall and the great room is really kind of like the heart. It connects, you know, B, C and D wink. Um, and we kind of mentioned this earlier, but you'll find students hanging out here, just kind of playing games. We'll do all our programming in here, which is super nice. Um, it's a great space for entertainment and just kind of hanging out. Um, so now we're going to go down um, closer to D-Wing. Um, so we're going down the stairs from the great room um, in the hallway. Um, this um, and that side is where like Bud Walton and those things kind of are. Um, if you step in here, we have um, the laundry room that services C and D-Wings. Um, B-Wing kind of has its own laundry area, which is super nice. Um, but this one's for CMD, so we have washers, um, dryers, and then something that's unique about UARC is we have um, a, like a laundry alert system. Um, so there are QR codes on all of these machines. Um, you can send them to report problems, um, to maintenance, and get those fixed. And then also, Laundry Alert is an app that you can download to your phone. Um, you can pick. And then we also have an ice machine, which is super handy. Um, just kind of use it at your own will. Um, I personally love to have ice in my water, so I love having those in the halls um, because, you know, I'm making ice in a mini fridge is not the most fun thing to do. So it's very convenient. Love them. Um, it's that you can hold your own recycles in your room and then just if you kept following this corner It's just these big bins. You cannot miss it and it tells you what to put where um, Really want y'all to recycle so please visit our recycling zone um, And we'll have a great uh, sustainability RA His name is Nate. He's in charge of the here in Pomfret um, and he's a really big advocate for that so we'll have lots of recycling program and you'll kind of know where to recycle those things when necessary um, so this hallway has lots of um, miscellaneous doors uh, things like housekeeping um, those sorts of things lots of supplies kind of just stay down here 
Um, but we're heading towards the parking lot doors. Area, chairs and tables, um, another great place to hang out and do homework. Um, I think there's a whiteboard in there, so if you're needing to like jot down problems for a math class or things like that, or you know, use the board to study that kind of thing. Here is another kind of multi purpose room. I keep waiting for the lights to click on. I don't know if they will. There they go. Um, so there are a couple office spaces, a sink, um, there's a bathroom back there, which is super um, convenient if you're kind of hanging out and studying in this room. And then this is like a classroom space. Um, so again, lots of whiteboards, lots of couches, another just kind of great area to study and hang out and um, things of that nature. So lots of great places to kind of do your own thing in Pomfret, which I love about it. Kiana, where do people mostly congregate? Is it the great room or is it these smaller spaces? Like if I want to meet someone, where am I hanging out? Socialization more, great room, especially with like TV room and all that games. And then of course, you're always gonna find someone studying in here, the room right across, or the study room. So just like AK said, like you're gonna find somewhere hidden around here everywhere. Um, yeah, so now we're gonna head into more of like the room part, which is why I'm sure a lot of people are here. Um, Another great thing that I love about Pomfret, this is just kind of random, and all the dorms have all these water bottle cooler stations. Um, I love using reusable cups, things of that nature. Um, so those are super convenient. They're around everywhere. Um, it's hard not to find them. Can you show them how much you fob in? Show the security measures in. Okay, so every resident will get a fob when they move in, um, and there are these little black boxes all over um, to the front doors and then to each wing as well, I believe. Um, so you just kind of hold it up, scan it in, and then the doors will unlock for you. Every During the day, if the dining hall is open, these like main doors where AK came in at the beginning, they will be unlocked because you know students that don't live here, but every wing has another set of doors that's fobbed, so you know it is a secure. And that's why we always promote, make sure you know if someone's tailgating behind you, which means coming in behind you, you know they're a resident. Um, so you know, we prefer that you close the door behind you just to make sure that people that are coming into the wings are using their fobs. And one question we get sometimes is about where are people in? And if someone's from, let's say, Reed, which is our northernmost residence hall, and they happen to be down here, they can still eat down here, right? Yes, uh, dining, all our three main dining halls, you can eat at. So if you're at Pomfret, our Fulbright Dining Hall in the quad, you can eat there, um, swipe your card. And then of course there's like our pig theory. Um, yes, um, you can swipe. Um, so anywhere on campus is for you to eat. All right, so we're kind of coming up to D Wing right now. It's the wing that's closest to the parking lot. Like I said, there's Bud Walton Arena right up there um, along with the parking lot. So it was super great view of Bud Walton if you were interested in going to basketball games. Literally the quickest walk you can. Um, so now we're kind of coming into D Wing. Um, we'll show you a bathroom first, and then we'll kind of take a look at what a residence room looks like. is a community style dorm um, so there's going to be community style bathrooms on every floor um, normally multiple anywhere from two to four um, so this is kind of what a community style bathroom looks like um, you have sinks and mirrors and then when you walk into on this side um, this is where like the toilet area is I won't show you that I think you all know what one looks like but that's kind of where that is and then on the other side you kind of have a shower um, with curtains, there's two separate shower stalls, um, and then like hooks to hang your belongings and your towels on, things like that. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty standard um, pomfret bathroom. Bathroom. So for we're in C and D wing, and that's what your bathroom's gonna look like in C and D. Our B wing, um, you can enter the bathroom from both sides of the hallway. So like we're on one side of a hallway, and then there's another side. The B wing, there's only two bathrooms, but they're larger. So this one, I believe, had two stalls. That one's gonna have at least four sandwich showers. It, it's doubles, um, and you access it from both sides. Where C and D are these more bathrooms are just in each corner. 
broken instrument looks like. Um, for example, this is um, D103. To kind of get you guys in here and situated, and then we'll start to talk about kind of what, what the room offers. Um, so every room is going to have these giant windows, which is super nice. Um, I really love these. These are one of my favorite things about the dorms at UARC. Um, several of the dorms on campus have these. I love being able to look outside. So those are awesome. The blinds are, you know, raised and closed at your own. It comes with a bed, a mattress, um, a wardrobe. I was going to see if maybe we could open one and kind of show the inside. Um, so the wardrobes have, like, the hangers, and then they have a shelf in the Super nice. Um, and everything is definitely something you can take upon yourself to kind of rearrange the furniture and get it situated how you like. Um, and then each resident has a dresser with three drawers. Um, they're actually probably bigger than you think they are. Um, they're rather large drawers. Um, so it's great for like folding clothes or you know, any kind of personal belongings that you have. Um, and then we have desks. So these desks have um, a top drawer, which is lockable if you get like a little you know, lock like you had on your locker in um, high school. Uh, those can be locked. Um, I've never personally locked mine, but if that's something you're interested in, it's definitely available for you. Um, and then both um, desks get a chair. And what's really cool about these chairs is they're actually like convertible into a gaming chair of sorts. So I'm not going to take it apart because I don't know that I could get it back together myself. But the top comes off and it'll sit on the floor if that's something you're interested in as well. Um, and then every room has a cable set up on this wall where there's kind of plug-ins and, you know, cable extension, um, that type of thing. And then some of the rooms have Ethernet connection. Um, I'm not sure, like, which rooms do, but some of the rooms do offer that, so. We have a question from yes. Avery. Avery asks, could you tell me the height and width of the wardrobe from the inside, from the bar and the bottom? Okay. So inside the wardrobe, okay, and we've got this device here. Okay, so the inside from the width of it. Is 34 inches. Is it measuring the entire device? I just want to make sure that it is. Yes. It is measuring the entire device. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so from I think from the bar to the bottom, was that another one? From the bar and bottom. So okay. maybe from the bar to the bottom. Okay. So from the bar to the bottom. It is 50 inches. Does that answer your question? There's also a shelf to the top. I'll go ahead and do that measurement as well just so you have that. That measurement is 11 inches. So from the shelf to the top of the wardrobe is 11 inches. Go ahead and ask any questions you have about any measurements in the room. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What are you, uh, what are you studying again? Okay, so I am a history and French double major with minors in art history and African and African American studies. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I do. Um, I kind of just took things that I was interested in high school and things that I acquired in college that I was really interested in and just kind of made my own little degree plan of sorts. Um, but in the future, I hope to go to grad school for student affairs and higher ed. Um, so being an RA has really kind of showed me what I enjoy doing. Um, I love working with students and kind of helping them navigate their first couple years of college. Um, so that's why Student Affairs really speaks to me. Um, that's something that I'm interested in doing in the future. So we're getting a lot of questions. Oh, okay. okay. Let's All go. All right. So can you tell us about lofting the beds? And the next question is how high can you loft the beds? Yeah. So um, lofting the beds is super easy. Um, well, relatively. If you have a couple people, it's not the most difficult thing to do. Um, so you just kind of... We give out mallets at the front desk or move in um, wherever. Um, you just kind of knock these out of the little pegs that you see, um, and you knock all four corners out, and then you can lift it. Um, you see the pegs stop right here, um, but if you get the whole bed frame off, you can flip both of the, um, what are these called, like the frames mm -hmm. over, I guess? Um, and then, so like then, they go all the way to the floor, and you could loft it as high as you wanted. Um, and the height of the bed is, I think it's 
60 inches. Um, so it'll go all the way to the very top and then however thick the mattress is, it'll go on top of that. Um, Visit moving. Actually right now, still time, if you submit a work request to have your bed lofted and you've been assigned a room because it's going to ask for your room number, like link. So I don't, if you wait till a week you move in, there's a chance it might not get done. So again, if you have your room assignment and you want your bed lofted or know you want it lofted, please go to movein.uark. Well, yeah, you can find out the lofting dimensions at movein.uark.edu under ready to arrive. If you want to request that your uh, bed is lofted, go to housing.uart.edu forward slash fix it. Fix it is really your resource for getting just about anything done in the room that you need to physically. So, uh, and, and, and these, these go up every three inches. So you can set it for pretty much everything within a three inch uh, intervals. Um, Angie asks, what's the height from the window ledge to the top of the window beams? Okay. Well, let me move this chair and maybe we can get that answer. All right, so from the ledge to the ceiling, it's 62 inches. Um, and then I'll go ahead and do from wall to wall, just because that also seems helpful. From wall to wall, it's 112 inches. Teresa asks, uh, the space from the top of the closet to the ceiling. Good question. 24 inches. Um, how deep is the window shelf? Oh, also helpful. Fourteen inches. And Janet asks, what are the dimensions of the inside of the dresser drawers? So the width is 26 inches, and then from front to back is 20 inches. And it should be the same for all three drawers, they're all the same size. Um, how tall are the dressers? Um, 30 inches, and I believe the desk should be the same height, but we can go ahead and double check. Yeah, this is also 30 inches. Um, Angie asks, can you split the dressers or is it one piece? No, so these are movable as well. There's one for each resident and they kind of move. I don't know. Um, something super cool tip. Um, personally, my freshman year, my roommate and I stacked ours. Um, so if you take the drawers out, it's a lot less heavy, and you can put one on top of the other, and it saves you a ton of space. So, helpful tip. People will also loft the bed tall enough where you could put this under the bed. And Avery asks, what's the height of space from the highest notch on the bed to the floor? Um, the best way to get that is because we, because yeah. we can't flip them right now in real time, is to go to movein.uart.edu, go to ready to arrive, and then you'll find a series of questions there. And one will deal with lofting and mattress sizes. And go into that area and you should get all your, all your questions answered about those very specific numbers. Um, something else I also forgot to mention, um, the wall behind us is our accent wall. Um, so these are gonna vary in color by floor. Um, and I believe all of the paint color numbers can be found on housing.uart.edu um, within the specific hall that you click on. Um, and in Pomfret, I believe each floor, the accent color wall is different. Um, so you kind of, I don't know if you'll just figure out when you get here or if it says on, on the housing website. On our Pomfret hall website, so all, we're in D-Wing, all the hall is this color and then C-Wing has the same, but B-Wing, there's three different colors per each floor. But again, Pomfret hall UARC website will have ex each floor is the exact color you want to match or interested in what your accent wall color is before moving. Well, we're caught up on the questions currently. Feel free to ask any other questions you guys have. Do you um, tell lot, so for parkings, the questions I get a lot. Um, for a rest pass, which is closest to a residence hall, lot 64, which is right out this window, in um, is that parking lot but with Pomfret, one of our like great features is there's a lot of green lots. So I really encourage you 
before purchasing your parking pass, look at the parking map and see, because green is way more affordable than red, but again, if you sometimes you have to move out of green lot, but look at the parking lots and see what you prefer. And again, lot 64 is the closest parking lot to us. Um, someone asks, which side is A slash B on? Um, so Sorry. typically, isn't it like how you would read a book? Or did I make that up? There's, there's no designated A and B. Uh, when you arrive here, you'll basically claim A or B. Uh, window, we have window side and door side, but they don't necessarily run with A and B. So A and we, B is... We, um, that's why we really encourage you to reach out to your roommate. So you decide who wants window, who wants wall. And again, this is all movable. So some people, you know, usually move this, stack it. But scenario, you can't decide. Technically, we do B as in back of the room. So if you're assigned B, that is the window and A is near the wall. But again, we really prefer that you reach out to your roommate and figure out you know, what you're more comfortable with. Are the mattresses the same size? Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, are, is the window side and the door, I'm sorry, the window side and the door side, are they the same? Let's check it just to make sure, but I think, I think they maybe. I think they're, they're different. different. Okay, right, um, let's check it. So one might be 75 and the other 80. The yeah. website does list so the dimensions. Can you, uh, maybe like you can put yeah. your hand in? Yeah, that would yeah. be perfect. super close that you can buy like a parking pass for. Um, Harmon Parking Garage is all the way up and then back down the hill kind of. And then um, the Garland Street Parking Garage is on the complete other side of campus. So it's on north side of campus. Um, there's Union. I guess there's not there is the Union, Union Parking garage. garage, but there's no like um, student. student parking necessarily. There's faculty parking that students can park in after hours. Yeah. Um, they'll just have to pay attention to signage. And then there's also, there's like a hyper parking garage right over here. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, fine past there. there's a, there's a green row, oh. um, but it's normally pretty easy. They're going to be a green pass or a red pass. And honestly, lot 56 is so close to these mm -hmm. halls, Adobe and Pomfret. Mm -hmm. um, major concerns that students are lot. Okay. Um, Hannah asks, can students bring furniture in Princeton's a recliner to share with roommates? Yes, but any furniture in here, we have no storage for it. So like sometimes people want to bring their own chair and they're like, we don't want this chair. It has to stay in the room because we don't have storage for it. Um, so you are accountable for holding your all the furniture that's in the room in the room. And then also um, remember from orientation, there can be uh, no what are the large vans? No U-Haul. No U-Haul. No U-Haul. Uh, no so, no so please don't bring the amount. A U-Haul size, a U-Haul full is not going to fit in this room. Um, but just because our, how our movement process works, you won't be allowed into the lot. So please, if you are bringing your own furniture, make sure that it fits in your vehicle. Um, but yeah, I definitely know people who do that. Just keep in mind if you're in your D wing, there's no elevator. So whatever you bring, you're going to have to carry it up those stairs. Um, and carrying a recliner on four flights of stairs is not really fun <laughs> to me. Um, but I do have like my own piece of furniture, like those cute cube organizers um, from like Target. Um, I keep one of those in my room. So you are allowed to bring your own furniture. Just remember, whatever you bring has to fit in the room, and you have to be able to carry it up the stairs if you're in CRT. Um, Gabrielle asks, what's the length of the room, not including the window ledge? Okay, let's let's go for it. Let's see if I, I guess can someone can. Oh yeah. Maneuver this. Uh, you can use a piece of paper. 
That last part. Right? I was going to say, I was wondering if it would just. We need that. I can't even see where the light is. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait. Can I? Hold on. So sorry. Technical difficulties. 160 inches. Should I go ahead and do this for as well? Why not? Just yeah. Come on. Does everybody like symmetry? Okay, yeah, let's see if I can. 139 inches. That way. Jacqueline asks, are the beds in each hall twin XL or just twin size? Um, like I said kind of before, um, if you buy twin or twin XL, I've done both before and they normally fit on the mattress. Um, so you should be fine either way, but I don't know exactly like the measurements of it. Fit. Like what is a twin versus what is a twin XL, but usually both sheets types fit. Um, one is normally just a little bit tighter than the other, but they both work. Are dollies available during move-in? Yes, so normally we have dollies. Um, do they do the gray beds down No, they don't. We, we do the like red two-wheel dollies, but there is a limited amount. So of course, if you have your own dolly, we encourage you to bring it. Uh, you might show up, if we have all our dollies checked out, it'll just be put on a waiting list. Um, so that's why we encourage bring your own dolly, but of course we will have a few provided. We'll have things like dollies. Um, we'll also hand out like mallets on movement day, which can be super helpful. Um, some other random tools. I think sometimes you have like screwdrivers or things like that. But like Pamela said, those are going to be available in a limited amount. So if you have any of your own materials that you think you'll need on movement day, highly recommend bringing them. Um, it's better safe than sorry to have your own than to try to wait for someone. And you will need, I believe, your student ID to borrow yes. a dolly from us. So be sure you've check, checked in with Campus Card Office and got what you need to get there. If you don't have your student ID, we'll take your license. It's just we've got like some Someone form of collateral. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gotta make sure you bring it back. Um, someone asked, is 5 by 7 the best rug size for these types of rooms between the beds? Um, we can do a measurement in between the beds. I believe I have uh, a rug and it's 5 by 7 but... Um, Jacqueline asks, what's the length of the wall with the windows? Uh, the whole wall or just from like window to... Let's give them the whole wall because we already okay. did this image. Yeah. Okay. So we want to pull back to... Yeah, actually, you can just use this wall. Yeah. It's really the same as that. That's going to be 138 inches. What is the distance... Oh, we just did that one. Um... Are all of the rooms exactly the same, like the one that we're in right now? Except, so there's a corner room is like, you know, we're in this room. And so the very end room, or we'll call them end rooms, they're just maybe a foot longer, like not much. And then there's one end room on each floor. And that room's a little different layout. Um, I don't know how best to explain it. Uh, it's more long, right? Mm -hmm. But there's so few. Yeah, yeah. There's so few. One, one issue about Pomfret is they're, symmet they're mostly symmetrical. Like they're almost all exactly alike. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's a good thing. The rooms that are different are probably going to be less than 15 or 20. So. Um, Angie asks, what's the measurement between the dresser and the wardrobe? Like from here to here? Sure. Sure. And again, this might change depending on your room, because again, like these are yeah. movable. So right now it's at 17 inches, but like Yana said, you can move it around and make it work for whatever you want. Um, he kind of mentioned lots of people lock their beds and put them underneath. Um, so then you have all of this space open, um, just kind of however you want your room to be set up, you can make it work. And okay, I noticed that these dressers are both flush with the wall. Mm -hmm. So why don't you give them the space between the two okay. when it's flush? Um, that might be a helpful. Oh yeah, that was someone else's question. Um, so when they're both pushed all the way against both walls, the space between them is 83 inches. 
83 inches. And Gabrielle asks, how tall are the ceilings? It's like front floor ceilings? Yeah. Hey guys. Don't awesome. blind yourself. Uh, it was on her it's forehead. definitely not blind. Just... 95 inches. 95 inches. All right. Well, we're currently caught up on the questions. Okay. Uh, you've been here a couple years now. Any uh, tips, tricks, survival uh, hacks? Um, kind of re like we've talked about rearranging your room a lot. That's something I'm like, I never hardly ever leave my room the way that I find it. I kind of move it around and make it work for me. Um, so that's something to take advantage of, especially in a hall where you do have movable furniture because that's not true in every hall. Um, so just kind of make sure you take advantage of that. Also, um, if you're from super far away or if you're living in C&D where there's no elevator, um, maybe kind of hold off on buying some more of your decorations um, until you get here and get in the room and you know what's gonna fit um, and you know kind of what it looks like and what you want. That way you don't have to carry up as much stuff on moving day as well because um, you only get about 30 minutes to unload your car. Um, so the less you have to move up and down, the better. Those are kind of my two main hacks. Um, we're getting a couple more questions. Someone okay. asked, where do you hang a towel? That was a great question. I've seen people do it like yeah, over the bed, if you want to buy um, the yeah. towel thing to put on. Um, command hooks also work really great if you don't have a towel bar. Um, just kind of stick them to the wall hang your towel up. Um, you can very easily hang them like on the back of the door or like the outside in your wardrobe. Um, those are my recommendations. And Beta asks, where are the outlets located? Um, so there's four right there by the cable connection. Um, and then there's kind of two separate, um, there's four, but you know, they're two separated. And then there's one on this, there's two right here as well, kind of by the window. Um, and I think there's two on that wall as well, is what they're trying to say. I don't see any. Oh, oh, just kidding. Just kidding. There's not two on that wall. JK. So sorry. Um, so that seems to be all the outlets. Um, so there's one, two, three, four. 10 outlets in the room. Um, if you're worried about outlet space, I encourage using um, like a, what are like the cable, not cable extender, but like- Power strip? Yeah, power strip or you know something you plug into the wall that has like multiple. Also, um, lots of power strips nowadays have like USB connectors in them too. Mm -hmm. um, so highly recommend one of those that has like, you know, four extra outlets and then a couple of USBs because lots of things charge with USBs. Um, those are super helpful that way you don't have to plug in as many boxes per se. There is no certain power outlets that are not allowed. Yes. So please make sure you check our um, move-in page. Move page on what is allowed and not allowed. Just because of fire hazard. Basically it needs to have the ability to handle the sur surge protector. I think mm -hmm. is what it needs to yeah. Um, there's also a thermostat in each room. We haven't really talked about that. Um, it's not super customizable, but I think you can control the temperature between like 68 and 72 degrees, um, which is not a huge difference, but kind of nice um, if you like it cooler versus warmer. Um, Teresa asks, can the bed by the door be placed against the wall that the desks are on? Yes. Yeah, for sure. So like I said, you can kind of move it around however you want it to work for you. Um, my roommate and I, my freshman year, we lofted one bed and left one bed low and kind of put them underneath each other, so they made like an L shape. Um, so that gave us a lot of space in the room. Um, some people loft both the beds all the way up and put their desk and chairs under there and these under there. That way you have a lot of space in the center and kind of on this wall. Um, if you really wanted to, you could move one of the beds to this wall. Like it just, all the furniture is movable, so just whatever works best for you and your roommate. Um, highly encourage kind of playing around with it and seeing what y'all like. Jamie asks, can you hang a mirror on the wardrobe door? Um, you definitely could. Command strips are the way to go. I've done that before. Um, I recommend the Velcro picture hanger command strips to do that. Um, that's my personal preference. Or Walmart also makes like the over the door hanger mirrors. Those also work really well. Um, someone, okay. sorry, someone asked if, uh, can we see a room at the end of the hall? Um, let's see, do we have any pictures on our website? All right, I'll tell you what, last thing we're gonna do, we'll do it just for you. Okay. We'll go on up there and do it real quick. 
As we wrap up the tour, yes. I just wanted to give a shout out to, uh, please check your email. You should have received an email from the university about our new Pick One initiative. So we really want y'all to be involved before you even step foot on campus. So there's a few initi or initiatives, there's a few like um, events or organizations that we would like for y'all to see what you're interested in. You'll actually select a pick one before you move in. You'll receive an email the first week of August and they'll ask you, or they'll inform you of a virtual tour, or tour, virtual like meet and greet. And then during A week, which is your first week here, all these fun events, um, you'll get to meet with your pick one. There's tons of options. So, you know, if you're into UREC, if you're into housing, we do RIC, student government. But please check your email for your pick one and- Pick one. Pick one. All right, just for you. The main difference in this is the two windows. And again, there is only, what you eight, four, maybe 5, 12, 15 rooms that are like this because it's only one on each floor. And it's the end room. Okay. Something else we didn't really mention, um, there'll be at least one RA on every floor, um, sometimes maybe two, um, depending on your floor, and they kind of stay cent like in the central part of the hallway, so they'll be kind of in between the bathrooms um, in the middle of the hallway. If you ever need them, they'll be available for you as well. Any last questions? Uh, what room number is this? D116. D116. Okay. Oh, someone asked if, is that a Wi-Fi antenna on the ceiling? In here? It was in the other room, but I didn't, I looked at the ceiling and I, that's all I saw. There so is a Wi-Fi box. Right? Yeah, there There's are boxes this. on some of the ceilings. That looks like a fire alarm. Yeah, it's the fire. Um, but, I mean, needless to say, the Wi-Fi in most of the residence halls is really decent. Um, very easily usable and pretty good connection in most places in the dorm. Okay. Well, if that's the last question, we'll... Wanna wave us out? We'll yeah. see you on moving. <laughs>